Sports bettors, you need to download Sharps, the better social network. With Sharps mobile app, you can tell your friends bets with one click. See a bet you like? Just click the whale tail icon and boom, it will open in your corresponding sports book. Sharp securely connects to major sports books like FanDuel, MGM, Caesars, and more. So you can not only track your bets, but share your bets in creative ways. So gather the gens, download Sharps for free, and join our fast growing sports betting community. In our next one, we've got the Minnesota Vikings going on the road to take on the Denver Broncos. Man, this Broncos team, they've been hot. You know, they won <laughs> what, three straight. I think now they're like four and five, I believe. And you know, Russell Wilson, he's been playing really well. He's been playing re- really well this season. Uh, the defense, I think they're like, all right, let's not let's try not to give 70 points up. I think they made like a nickelback change, and all of a sudden they're like a top five defense all of a sudden. You know, they have talent. They have talent. So, like, that's that's been their, um, you know, their whole thing there is uh, uh, they, they just couldn't scheme right properly or maybe, you know, maybe they just didn't have the right personnel there to help stop the run. But they've been playing a lot better football of late. So, and then that Vikings team there, like a miracle kind of you know, being able to win there with Josh Dobbs, who's been traded twice like, this season, which is ridiculous. And he's still able to, like, pull off a win here and there. So, uh, Justin Jefferson is questionable, and so is Madison, who is under concussion protocol. So, you know, I think the tendency is usually when they're in their you know that first week of concussion protocol, they usually just don't play. So, uh, a lot of things kind of going against the favor for the Vikings uh, there. So, uh, I'm gonna pick, yeah, I'm gonna pick the Broncos uh, winning this game here. It's just nuts, man! How this turnaround that they've been able to do. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to bet the under actually in terms of the, the point total is 42 and a half, uh, last two victories at home, uh, for the Broncos, you know, against the Packers and chiefs were under that total. So, you know, Vikings offense, uh, you know, again, without Kirk cousins, I think they'll, they won't be scoring that as much or be able to move the ball as well. So, you know, against a pretty good Broncos defense here. So yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, picking the Broncos to win, but then yeah, betting the under for that that forty two and a half uh, total there. Broncos country, let's ride! I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time, man. Finally, let's time ride. for everyone to <laughs> ride. Time to ride. No, I'm going with the Broncos too, man. I didn't know how this one was going to go debate wise, but now I'm feeling the same juju that you are, and you know, I think. The fact that Russell Wilson's now getting a little bit, you know, more entrenched there. Um, he's creating rapport with Sutton. Uh, Judy still needs to get a little bit more involved uh, just in the passing game. But, you know, they've got Javante Williams back. He's, he's looking more like himself um, post-injury. And, you know, they're still you know able to create some pressure. Um, they give up a lot of rushing yards. But I think the one thing, you know, going against the Vikings is you got Ty Chandler. You've got... Um, obviously, like you said, Mad- Madison's questionable. Um, they just they just don't have, I think, the right personnel to go up against the Broncos, even with you know the shortcomings that that Broncos have on, you know, giving up a lot of rushing yards. Is see them being able to contain um, the guys that the Vikings are going to roll out. So, you know, with that kind of neutralized, I just I still feel like the secondary for for Denver has been pretty strong with Sertan and Simmons, like Simmons had another pick last week. I think they had two as a team. Um, they're just looking good. They are riding some momentum here. And yeah, I think Minnesota has had an extremely respectable season to this point. I mean, they've been very resilient based on the team seemingly throwing in the towel, um, you know, this past off season with just letting so many, you know, veterans go, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, they've just they've just found a way to kind of continue to scrap it together. I think Dobbs is getting, you know, so much more respect this season uh than he than he ever has in his career. I mean, I've I definitely overlooked him and thought really nothing nothing of him as a as a starting quarterback option for any team. I thought, yeah, maybe he's good at understanding the playbook and being a good leader and stuff as a backup, but man, the way that he's just come in and provided confidence and you know, understanding a tough system like the ones that, you know, O'Connell really rolls out there. Um, you got to give them a lot of credit, but they are just missing talent for me. And, you know, it's not the Bron- it's not that the Broncos are, you know, this, <laughs> you know, unbeatable squad or anything like that. But, you know, I just think they take an L this weekend in a, in a, in a tight game. And, uh, you know, we'll see where they land for the rest of the year. But, you know, I think they've, 
they've just now proven that they are extremely resilient and have, you know, some plan B's there, um, especially in the receiving game with just getting Addison more involved and Hawkinson and Dobbs are, you know, building a great report. So hopefully that, that continues for them. Yeah. Yeah. I guess with the one more bullet to the Vikings too, from the injury side, uh, Jordan Hicks, their, their captain on, on defense there. Uh, looks like he's going to be on the IR. Like that's a leader on their defensive side, which they've been playing a lot better. Uh, so, you know, tough, tough uh, blow there. I think uh, just injuries catching uh, with the Vikings. But uh, I mean, yeah, like I'm looking at the rest of the season for the Broncos. You know, now that we're, I guess, on the subject matter, it's like you know, <laughs> after after this game, right? It's like you got the Browns. You know, backup quarterback, uh, Texans, they've been up and down. Obviously, CJ Stroud's playing really well, but yeah, that team just keeps on going up and down like a yo yo a little bit. Uh, you got the Chargers, uh, looks like twice here, so divisional rival, and that that honestly might be a battle for a second place, in my opinion. Like, this could be something, so yeah, yeah. And they got the Lions, uh, you know, in, in Detroit, so that, that'll be really tough, but Patriots, mm -hmm. um. Yeah, they got Patriots at 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 home in Denver, and then they had the, the uh, finishing off the season with the Raiders. So, yeah, like was that you said five? Was that five? Five. Uh, I mean, they get to ten wins. I mean, they could get to ten wins. We're talking about it. Maybe they're nine and eight, ten, ten and seven. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Let's see if there. they run the table. Yeah, maybe they run the table, or you know, like <laughs> maybe only have like a couple losses here and there, but. Yeah, with the way that they've been playing, you know, they beat the Chiefs uh, pretty convincingly and everything. So, I don't know. This a lot of strange things can happen. I think, uh, you know, and uh, I definitely doubted them. A lot of people doubted them, especially the way that they started the season, especially after you know some of the comments, offhanded comments. I think Sean Payton made, but yeah, if this this team can certainly. There's a possibility that they can you know run the table a little bit here and make the playoffs, which that would be unbelievable for you know the Broncos here. Yeah, I don't think anybody was really thinking about it. Um, you know, teams that will play against them with good rushing attacks are going to be ones to look out for. Mm -hmm. um, it's partially why maybe, you know, they play a good game against the Texans. I mean, the Texans haven't really been able to establish, you know, much over right. the years, uh, you know, this year so far. But, you know, we'll just have to see. I mean, maybe they split a couple of those divisional games. But, um, no, I mean, I'm just more or less encouraged for them just playing better football. Uh, not being in a complete embarrassment. I mean, they win this week. They're 500. I mean, who would have thought? And, uh, man, that AFC West is just getting a little bit more intriguing as the weeks go by, you know, with the Raiders playing better football. you got, obviously, the Chiefs out there. And who knows about the Chargers? Like, they're they're looking like they're at the, the bottom right now. But, I mean, they have they have more talent, arguably, than the Raiders and Broncos. It's just, it just hasn't all come together. So, um We'll see, but yeah, we're definitely we're definitely in agreement on this one. Yeah, how about that? Like the Raiders are second at five and five, right? In that division with Antonio Pierce as the head coach. It's like, who would have thought like this this whole that whole division is just kind of up in the air a little bit. And yeah, it, it it's a who's hot week week to week type of league, right? And right now they have the Broncos, they're kind of firing right now. So should be interesting to see.